welcome to the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania and the Alzheimer's Disease Course Center. You're on the third floor of the Maloney Building uh, here at Penn, and this is the home of the administrative core of the ADCC, the Alzheimer's Disease Core Center, as well as the home of the uh, core for biomarkers, neuropathology, and genetics. I like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the tremendous contribution the Alzheimer's Disease Center made to our Center for Neurodegenerative Disease Research at the University of Pennsylvania. And as you know that John Trojanowski is the director of the ADC and that started about over 20 years ago because of the ADC and allow us to build an infrastructure to study patients with Alzheimer's disease. An important driver of research in Alzheimer's disease and related disorders at the University of Pennsylvania has been this unique pilot program that's part of the ADCC. But I'm delighted to introduce Eddie Lee, who's a recent pilot awardee, who will tell you more about his science. Well, thanks, John. Um, so the pilot program's amazing. It, it comes at that time, that critical time where, where you have an idea, but you don't really have um, all the data to support your ideas. Um, and so, as a, as a relatively young investigator, I started my lab just a couple years ago. It was instrumental in taking some of these ideas and being able to generate some preliminary data. So I'd like to introduce you to Les Shaw. My work is focused on the validation uh, and implementation uh, of biomarker tests of Alzheimer's disease neuropathology. These tests mirror the neuropathology uh, that is seen in mildly impaired folks. What I mainly do, as most of you possibly know, is work on genetics of Alzheimer's disease. And this is a collaboration between many different groups, and essentially a collaboration between all of the Alzheimer's centers that NIA funds. A lot of the work I do is with Lee Han Wong, who's a faculty member here at Penn in the Department of Pathology and Lab Medicine. He's a bioinformatician and he and I work very closely on Alzheimer's genetics. We have built a wonderful database that links multiple neurodegenerative diseases together and this database supports many interesting Alzheimer's disease studies. I'm the director of drug discovery here at uh, CNDR. The Alzheimer's Disease Center provides us uh, a number of resources that we can leverage uh, within our drug discovery programs. Uh, for example, there's a neuropathology core uh, that exists within the ADCC. Uh, that we often utilize in our studies uh, where we're trying to evaluate drugs or drug candidates in transgenic mouse models of disease. We also certainly learn and get valuable information from the genetics core uh, in the sense that by keeping attuned to the findings of that group, we can you know, be in the forefront of potential new drug targets that might emerge in Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative conditions. And then finally, there's the clinical core. We have the benefit of the clinical core in that if we have a drug that moves forward in clinical testing, uh, the clinical core of the ADCC has the capability of uh, being involved in, in the characterization of that drug candidate in Alzheimer's patients. And I'm going to take you over to the uh, Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine to see the clinical core. We're here in the waiting area of the Penn Memory Center. The Alzheimer's Disease Center's clinical core is at the heart of the Penn Memory Center. We have six faculty that come from psychiatry, from neurology, and from geriatric medicine. It really is a one-stop shop. We uh, see the patients, we collect all the, the clinical data, we do our lumbar punctures here, collect blood, uh, conduct EKGs, do the psychometric testing, and all the other aspects of good clinical evaluation and research evaluation. Data on patients and their families is collected all along the way. It is entered directly into the Integrated Neurodegenerative Disease Database, which has been a tremendous boon to our research. We have records now on about 12,000 patients with a variety of disorders, including Alzheimer disease, mild cognitive impairment, normal aging, uh, as well as other neurodegenerative diseases like frontotemporal dementia and Lewy body diseases. I think one of the most critical aspects of the work that we do here is the education and counseling that we do with patients. I'm Dr. Jason Karlowich. I see patients at the clinical core of Penn's Alzheimer's Disease Core Center and I direct its Education, Information, and Transfer Corps. The Education Corps uh, provides educational materials for patients and their families, and in addition, provides materials for the recruitment and retention of patients into uh, research. The Education, Recruitment, and Retention Corps and the Clinical Corps work together very closely. Together, we conduct up to 20 different studies, uh, including clinical trials, uh, biomarker validation studies, and studies to uh, 
evaluate quality of life and decision making in patients and their family members. Where do we go from here? Well, we're talking about a, a, a problem, Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, that costs the global economy $604 billion. And for those who say, we don't have the resources, I say that's not true. It's about how we prioritize the resources we have. Because we have the ideas, we have the people, we know where we want to go, but we just need the resources to accelerate the pace of drug discovery to eliminate Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other diseases uh, like them to create a world without dementia and without movement disorders.